Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video, I hope you're doing very well. So today is technically my birthday, so yay, happy birthday to me. Um, I know the video I uploaded yesterday, that was done like the day before, so technically it wasn't my birthday, but I uploaded it on my birthday, and <laughs> today is my birthday, and I'm uploading it the next day. But enough confusion, um, today I'm here to do a full phase of new makeup, not everything is new. Um, but essentially not everything is new to like the makeup world so essentially I went I did a bit of retail therapy this morning and I went to a Boots and I picked up a couple of new products or products that I haven't tried before um, and yeah I'm just gonna put them on my face and yeah let's get on with it so I'm just gonna be um, putting on this um, Colourpop uh, face milk that I've been using pretty much every day since I received it and I've been loving it. It's the strawberry milk and papaya um, face milk and I do have very um, dry skin but I have very combined kind of skin as well if that makes any sense. Um, so when I use this it works so well under like my foundation and I do use a primer as well so if you've seen any of my previous like three or four videos um, I have been using this along with it and I do think my foundation looks amazing um, and I, it might be because of the foundation as well which I'll be using again in today's video but um, this face milk is super nice if you want to try anything from like the Colourpop skincare stuff this is pretty good um, I believe it's about nine dollars ten dollars maybe or maybe a bit more than that but I think it's worth it I mean in the bottle you do get quite a lot um, how much do you get in there does it say 30 mil I mean the bottle's big so <laughs> you're definitely gonna get a lot out of it so uh, the next thing I'm gonna be new trying trying new is a primer and this is the elf soothing face primer and this is infused of aloe so in case you couldn't tell I have very sensitive skin um, and I have been trying so many primers just to kind of see um, if anything will work and I saw this in like the elf section and I was like let me give this a go so this was uh, seven pounds fifty not too bad um I have tried um an elf primer before which I really love um it's like the clear glass one um and it's super nice it's one of my favorite primers ever so I'm just gonna dab this on just my usual places and um I never know, I'm just like excited to tell you guys, I'm not even obviously getting paid or anything for it. But Boots are doing this thing at the moment, so if you spend over £20 on their kind of normal drugstore stuff, you get a box of makeup products for free, so you get this box. So if you spend over £20, so not um, on the high-end stuff, unfortunately, because you could just get it super quickly, but um, for stuff like, you know, Rimmel and Maybelline and Elf and revolution stuff like that um you can get this box which is for free and it's got 40 pounds worth of stuff in it and i had a look inside it's got some really nice things um the box like you get some lip products the um <laughs> the lip products don't match what's on the outside that's just a generic picture um and i got this really dark matte purple which is fine i won't be using it today because it's not gonna match really my eyeshadows that i've chosen for today um but yeah, if you do spend over £20 on like makeup, which is I guess pretty easy to do because some makeup is not cheap these days, um, then pick up one of those boxes because you actually get quite a lot. You get a nail polish, you get a bath fizz, you get a mascara, you get two lip products, you get a primer and you get a quite a few um, couple of sachets of like skincare stuff and you get like a third off um, XX Revolution stuff and some of this stuff is pretty decent. Um, yeah, not an advert, clearly, but just like, just something for free if you spend over £20. And then foundation, I have been using this quite a few, like the past two or three videos, and I'm obsessed with it. It's a pretty fresh Colourpop um, foundation, and I've had a few um, comments in my comment section <laughs> asking about it. And again, it is very liquidy, um, but my god, this is one of the nicest foundations I have ever tried in my life um i know i've only been using it for a couple of days but honestly it feels so good um i think it was about 
13 14 dollars but if you're kind of struggling to find something to kind of you know pump up the value of um your basket because if you want to get something from from Colourpop for example if you live in the UK you get free shipping over sixty dollars um and because some of their stuff is quite cheap um it sometimes is quite difficult to get sixty dollars for like myself um even though I obviously want everything but this foundation it's worth it like I am so happy every time I use it I've only used it like three or four times but because I keep on thinking about not thinking about it like I dream about it at night um but I think about it um whenever I want to choose a foundation these days then I mean it's worth it obviously there's a good selection of shades and there is a chart that you can do like a little questionnaire I think um on how to select your shade and like you can see because a lot of people are asking me how um it kind of feels on the skin and as you can see it looks quite oily um and essentially it's meant to be a hydrating foundation i can definitely feel it hydrating it is a little bit kind of wet <laughs> if you get what i mean like you can see i'm proper shiny but i don't think it rubs off very easily because the past few times when i've used it um it doesn't like my pores are just not kind of sweating through um, and this has got coconut infused water so it's going to be really nice and softening um, so yeah you can see I am glowing but when you set it down with powder <clears throat> it's going to feel so nice um, I'm going to go in with some concealer next don't have a new concealer so I'm just using my revolution one just because there's so many like there's so many products in boots but there's not many new products because obviously the, the pandemic is kind of slowing a lot of new releases and a lot of new stuff is because of Christmas but I haven't seen a new kind of concealer that would really float my boat to be honest um and like I mentioned sorry about the foundation it's like a, a light to medium coverage but it's very buildable so as you can see like I've done a few pumps but using a sponge is always going to help get it kind of blended into the skin so if you have a look at it a bit more closer sorry for my elephant face but you can see it just yeah and I'm using natural light I'm not using any artificial lights or anything um yeah I really love this foundation it's so great I'm really glad I picked it up because I was umming and ahhing about what else to get when I um <clears throat> was making a purchase and I'm really happy I, I did it so yeah let's move on to setting powder so I have a new setting powder from collection and it's the lasting perfection sheer loose powder in matte and I believe this is just like a clear powder. This was two ninety nine. No, hang on. Let me have a look. Yes, sorry, yeah, two ninety nine. Um, and collection are always like super cheap. Um, they're a really great brand. I'm starting to really like their stuff. Um, because we all love cheap makeup, but we also like cheap good makeup. And their collection foundation is actually really good as well. Um. It's tough to find like a proper colour match, but um, their Lasting Perfection foundation is very good. So this powder, I have high hopes for, um, and I like loose powders as well because although they can get everywhere, um, they do last quite a while. So I'm just tapping some more into my lid. It looks like talcum powder, but I mean, it has no smell. Um, well, that is. But yeah, everything is setting down <clears throat> quite nicely. And if you want your foundation to become matte, using a matte powder is perfect. So yeah, that's fine so far. I mean, um, it is like white. <laughs> so if you, um, I don't, yeah, I don't think they have any other shades. I think they just have like translucent powders because no matter, I believe, no matter what your skin tone is, if you have like a clear powder, as long as you just kind of blend it in, should be fine. Apologies if I got that wrong, but I think so. Um, next, I'm going in with another newish thing. This is new to me. So I'm using the uh, NYX Sweet Cheeks Palette. No, um, it's a blush. Sorry. And this is in the shade um, Centrine Rose. And this just looks like a really nice just blush. Um, as you guys know, I'm really into blushes and I love looking even more red when I have foundation on <laughs> as opposed to how I do normally. Um, so I'm just taking one of my brushes and oh, just going to be very careful with it because it's quite, it's quite loose. So I'm just going to tap 
and just blend I don't even have my brush with me my mirror with me sorry so of course I don't I can't really see what I'm doing up close but I'm just gonna blend and you guys know I love a bright foundation um, and again they have a nice selection of shades this is not new by any means but I could not find any new blushes to be honest or anything that really caught my eye so I thought I would get one of these because it just looks like a gorgeous shade and they do have a lot of um, different shades as well so you can pick up one for all skin tones yep that looks quite nice this is definitely darker <laughs> on this side but that's fine I'm just gonna powder down a bit more there we go just to lighten it up a bit and then next let's go in with a highlighter and this is actually a new product this is from makeup obsession and it's their cosmic christmas <laughs> cosmic crystals highlighter in the shade fade um i love makeup Re um, makeup obsession well revolution yeah um as soon as i saw this online i was like i really want to give this a go but they've only got two shades um this is like the darker one which I don't mind because I really want my highlighter to show up and if it's really light on me it just won't work so I'm hoping this works so oh yes that works okay it's quite um you can see yes very nice I'm just thinking actually sorry the blush was I've got my little receipt with me so I'm just having a look at that um so the NYX uh, palette, this it was six pounds, and then this highlighter was five pounds, so that's pretty good for a highlighter, especially for makeup obsession. Their stuff is always quite cheap. This is really nice, um, it's really glowy, and just putting it to make me become a bit of a reindeer. Um, perfect, I'm just adding a bit more to the top. The powder's settled in really, settled in, <laughs> settled in really nicely. Wow take the girl out of East London but you can't take East London out of the girl I'll tell you that trust me <laughs> wow I just every so often just like break into like a cockney accent that's fine um I'm gonna gonna go in with my elf putty primer because I'm gonna be obviously going on to the eyes next so let's just get this in it's looking a little bit dry I hope it hasn't um come to the end of my use for it even though I still have a lot left um because I mean I always close this so let's, let's get this on I haven't used this one in about a week so I mean it shouldn't be dry but you never know with products like these they do get dry a little bit quickly right so I have a selection of two palettes today um, one of them is one that I bought today and then one is that I was given as a gift for my birthday so the first one that I have today is the NYX Ultimate Edit um, palette and this is the Phoenix kind of selection I don't know how new or old these are but I just saw it and I really liked it and then my sister bought me um, a Morphe palette for my birthday which in the, sh in the kind of selection of vintage rose which is right up my street <laughs> when it comes to shades to be honest so she obviously knows me quite well um, <clears throat> and this is just like a lot like a lot of moods basically what I might do is kind of go in between I might use this as a mirror as well because I can't see um, so let me go in with this palette today because it's a bit more colorful um, and I can do Kind of, I can do a red look today. What a surprise! So, I'm gonna go in with this bright red in the middle. They don't have any names on them. Um, so I'm gonna take one of my um Beauty Bay brushes, they're a little bit wet still. I washed my brushes on Sunday, um, now it's Mon no, Saturday, now it's Monday. Uh, anyway, going in with the red, and let's hope doesn't damage it too much and then let's go oh wow you know I think I've never tried a NYX palette before um I've obviously used their foundation which I freaking love um and a couple of their other products but I don't think I've ever used any of their eyeshadow palettes because I think no because this is a smaller one so I think this was like seven pounds but normally I think the palettes are quite expensive um <clears throat> well for me um even though they're quite their drugstore um but so far this is very gorgeous I think it helps that the brush is a little bit wet so that's kind of my fault um 
I should probably have used a drier brush but it's picking up the pigment and that's okay. Oh. Let's go on to the other side. But yes, I've been quite spoilt for my birthday. My husband has bought me some amazing gifts. He got me um, a backpack that I've wanted. And that sounds weird, but it's got Universal Monsters on it. And then, because I thought that was the only thing they got me, but he actually got me two pyjama sets. And he got me um, like a sleeping mask, because I really need a new one. Um, but they were like Disney, like Disney ones. And I was like, this is amazing, because I opened everything at midnight. Um, and I was like super happy he like stayed up because he has to get up for work quite early today um, but I was like are you gonna stay up and wish me happy birthday he's like yeah yeah absolutely and then um, yeah I was like I'm so spoiled I love it um, he's the best he's the best um, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe brush and I'm gonna go in with this orange just to make it a bit more kind of colourful in the middle. I am going to sort this out because that looks silly. Um, this brush isn't as wet so that's fine. Uh, we're going to go in the crease just to lighten up a bit. I was going to purchase an eyebrow product because I really want to start getting into my eyebrows. <laughs> getting into my eyebrows but as in like making my eyebrows look nice. Um, but I just didn't know what to go for. I was looking at um, the next ones. But if anyone has any good eyebrow recommendations, I know Benefit do really good ones, but they're quite expensive. Um, but just anything that is quite decent, please let me know because I want to start making them look a bit more presentable because they're okay. I just have really thick eyebrows, so it's quite um, frustrating whenever I get them done or if I do them, they just don't look that great. Right, this orange is coming out quite nicely. You probably can't see it very well on here. Let me clean this up. Ooh. Just so I can get rid of the inner corner. How's that look? Yes, much better. Um, and then, hmm, I might go in with the yellow just because it might be a bit more bit more there that, that's the shimmer so let's go in with that and see if it makes any difference to the look if not then that's not too bad again it doesn't help that my brushes are still quite wet so I should probably have not used them it's not too bad yeah I might use one of the shimmers in this palette to go on the eyelid. It's not looking too bad, you can't really see it on camera, but in real life it doesn't look too bad. Okay, let me just stop with this because <laughs> wet brushes are not the way. Um, now let's get a flat brush which is dry and go in with a shimmer um, I'm gonna go the one in the middle so the one in the middle is called retro woo so I'm gonna go in with this nice beautiful rose gold and I'm just gonna pack it on yeah very nice it's gonna take it over the whole lid because you can't really see the yellow that much. It's very nice, very nice palette. I love Morphe eyeshadow, especially these small ones are really cute. Okay. Yeah, very nice. I'm going to put this palette down because I won't need it right now. Um, what is that? <laughs> What is that? Let's just get this out of the way. And now let's go on to the eyeliner and I've got a mascara as well. Woo! And I picked up the, um, well, it's old. I can clearly tell it's old because it's still got Kat Von D on there. This is a set that I've actually wanted for ages because I really wanted to try the mascara and the eyeliner 
is always great. Uh, this was £16 and I was really surprised at the boots I went to. They had an actual display for KVD Vegan um, Beauty. So I was like, what can I get that won't break the bank? And it was this set, to be honest, like I have quite a few of their lip products already. Um, but this eyeliner I've tried before. Amazing. The mascara I've always tried for so long. So let's go in with the eyeliner and I'm going to have to use my palette again so I can get a bit closer um, so I don't get it completely messed up and alright so starting off from the top what I like about um, this liner is that it's just nice and just redefined so it doesn't bend over too much there's a lot of control around it. Very nice, very nice. Haven't used this eyeliner in quite a while. And I think with with these kind of eyeliners, they're a bit more easier for me to to guide. Um, is like especially making like these corner bits because I feel that with most of eyeliners I can't do it as <laughs> like defined as these ones because the nib is so bendy and they're just little little micro hairs which is pretty good perfect right I'm not going to do anything more to that because I'll probably mess it up but let's go in with the big go big or go home mascara which I've not tried before um yeah I still find it weird that they do have her products in store, but I think they just need to sell them. So instead of just like getting rid of them, they would just um, wait for people to buy them to get rid of them, which is a bit frustrating because you don't want to be buying old products. But hopefully nothing will go wrong. I've heard nice things about this mascara, so I'm glad I've got a small version instead of paying a really big one you can't tell like with mascara with me <laughs> you can never tell the difference with mascaras because my eyelashes are so dark and um <clears throat> they're just flat anyway i do know i have like really nice eyelashes it's just finding the right mascara to do it to make them actually stand out Right, my lips are like super dry at the moment, so I need to put something on my lips. And I feel that obviously we're going for a red look today because, blah, um, I've got three, I've got, actually got four different lip products that I want to put on. Um, the one that I'm probably going to be most happy about is probably this L'Oreal one. This is not new. I've used it so many times. It's one of my favourite lip products ever. Um, in the shade, I am worth it. Actually, I keep on putting my mirror away, but I do need it so I can see what I'm doing. So let's do it. Very nice. perfect I love this red so much it's like one of my favorite perfect reds and it's going to dry down nice and matte and it will probably not budge for the rest of the day so this is my finished look of some new products because I treated myself for my birthday <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to and especially with happy occasions like my birthday um yeah it's it's a day of celebrating in lockdown but yeah thank you so much uh, for watching i hope to see you in the next one bye guys